it is time. I have just finished recording my last video. And we got pulled, so I'm pulling for Emily straight away. I was going to wait for a couple days because see if I need to get any more pulls, but I can't be bothered. We have pulls, so I'm pulling for Emily straight away. So we have obviously 21 pulls. You would have seen that from the last video, which is painful. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into it and pull for Emily because I'm assuming I am going to need quite a bit of her stuff because I don't think I have very many of anything, especially her boss drops. We have 20 of them. And then we also need these, which I have a decent amount, but I will probably need more. As for other stuff, we're not looking too good on the weapon side of things. We don't have a whole lot of decent pole arms. Dragon's Bane's not very good. That one's not very good. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot. We have Favonius Lance, which is also not very good. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it and bring home an Emily. In the next pool, we're at 63 pity from memory. Not 63, 53 pity. Yanfei. So now we're at 63 pity. Which means... And we get a bell as well. Which means we should... If we get a little bit early, we should be able to get Emily. Decent pool there, not the greatest, but it's better than nothing. This will bring us to 73 pity. Still a 4 star, so we are probably going to need to do a little bit of primo gem farming. Possibly. Maybe a little bit more, we'll see. Although, because I am recording on the same day I just did my last video, another Yanfei. I will probably just leave it a little bit. Another. Oh my god, we don't need any more Yanfei's. But uh, yeah, I'll probably just leave it for a couple days because then I can do daily commissions and everything. Unless we get her, like, now. No. This is 75. So if we were going to get her, no, that would be soft pity. So we are going to need to do a couple more pulls, which is expected. I did expect to have to do that. We now have C6 Yanfei. Great. That's insanely useful. So, uh, yeah, I will... There's not really too much I can do in terms of other stuff because, as I said, I did just finish recording my last video, which was a lot of Primo Gem farming. I spent that five hours worth of Primo Gems in, like, three minutes. So that's great. Although, we should only need a couple more, maybe, like, I know, one or two. So that should be pretty well manageable just by doing daily commissions and stuff. Obviously, we can't do them today because I have already done them. But we could do, you know, the events, the event that's currently out and obviously daily commissions and everything for a couple more days until this video does actually need to go out and we should have plenty of pulls by then. Again, I'll probably do some more quests and stuff, just some little, little stuff and yeah, we should be sweet. So, with that being said, please get away. I will see you all in a couple days, and we will get enough pulls. Okay, so it is now a couple days later. I have just finished watching the Genshin livestream, so we have plenty of pulls. Now we have 700, so it will be sweet. However, I do just want to finish my dailies, because I've done the event, so I just have a couple more left there, so I just want to finish my dailies. And while I'm finishing my dailies, we can, uh, I guess, talk about the livestream, which was... It was really cool. Very important thing. Not, I mean, kind of, I guess, sort of important. There's no Fontaine characters next update, which means this account can have a little bit of a break from pulling, which is good because I am getting very sick of farming for Primos. We actually get one of the best updates to be taking a break because we are getting a absolute load of Primos next update, or pulls in general. We're getting the... Anniversary reward pools, which is 20, I think. So 20 pools and no, 10 pools and 1600 primos, which is a uh, much better than last year's three, as well as the main story quest. If you do that in the right time, you get an extra 500 from completing it. So I will probably be doing some story videos on this account so I can get up to that point and I can get those 500 primos. Then there's also 1600 extra primos from Shrine of Depth and Statue of the Seven. I know why I'm telling you this because I'm, I'm assuming you would have already watched the live stream. But I think that's it for primo rewards. And then obviously we have the uh, very, very, very unexpected but very welcome free five star from the standard banner, which is entirely useless on this account because, you know, we can't use them. 
However, it is pretty useful on both supports only where I want to get Gene and my main account where I still don't have uh, Mona and I want to get Mona so Hu Tao can do my damage. But the good thing is we're not getting any Fontaine characters. We have M Mulani, whatever, Hydro Shark Girl and Kazua in the first half as well as Kachina maybe? I can't remember what the other one is. The little little Geo, little Geo girl with the Beyblade looking vehicle thingy. And then second half we have Raiden and Kin Kinich. I don't remember the names. Kinich I think or something like that. Who I'm pulling from my main account because he looks cool. But yeah, no Fontaine character which is good. We get some, so we get a little bit of a break just to go and farm for more characters when they come out. But yeah, otherwise it's a, it's a pretty, pretty good live stream. Lots of rewards. Natlan looks really cool. The new gameplay mechanics also look really cool. And characters look cool. Ma Mavuika, Ma Pyro Archon thing. The, the little thing at the start where she was fighting the captain. Also the captain, he's cool. But where her hair lights on fire, like her hair goes fire or whatever. That looks sick. And I'm 100% pulling for her on my main account. I'm assuming she'll be a support character because normally the Archons are. But uh, yeah, she looks she looks very, very cool. But now that we've done that and we've talked about live stream, now it, we have done dailies, so pulling time. Obviously, we are basically on pity, so I'm expecting this to be our five star. No, this to be this is this is our five star. There we go. And that's Emily. It's guaranteed. Boom. perfume related by any chance if your inquiry is of a different nature i suggest we find a quieter place to talk she looks very very cool but now we have emily she is a very very cool looking character she's sort of a one that as they normally are towards the end they sort of just appear out of nowhere and don't really expect them but she is very 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 cool looking i like her design she looks very very cool she also has a pretty cool looking weapon which i mean why not we got pools and no one else is coming out next update, so I might as well chuck these last couple in and see if we can grab a weapon. Or Aqua Simulacra, which I'd also take. And no. Honestly, wasn't expecting it, but I mean, it, it would have been cool. Okay, now let's actually get her built a little bit. I don't know how far we are to go. I do know I'll be able to get at least the first couple levels because I have been farming her boss. I'm hoping I have some of the high next next level up. Uh, we, we do not. Just gonna buy a couple of them. We continue. I'm definitely not wasting all my star glitter. I can't be bothered farming. We're already level 60 though, which I, is, that's, that's very good. We are out of those. So maybe we'll be able to go all the way up to level 70 today, or 80 today, like right now. It should be perfect, because then she'd be on par with everyone else. And that would be exactly what I would like. I had all of her boss drops, I think, to get her up to 80. It might have been not like one not enough or something. Uh, yeah, no, we have enough to get her up to 80. So we're just missing that 91. We need six more of these, which is going to be a problem. Just a couple more Lake Light Lilies. They should be fine. And then we need more of those. And just like that, we have enough. That was way quicker than I thought it was. So now, boom, Emily can go all the way up to 80 straight away. That is exactly what we want to see. I will get up to 90, but again, we'll deal with that when we get to everyone else because it's we're probably just going to put everyone up to 90 in one video. Now, let me just quickly get her talents up to... I'm just going to do them all. I know we're not going to use her normal attack because it is pretty well useless, but I will get all of them up. I will probably prioritize her burst over her skill, but I'll try to get them up pretty evenly. That being said, though, I will only be able to get one more up, so I will prioritize her burst. I will need to craft more of them, which I should be able to do, no problem. But now we have the problem of weapons. So after some research, it seems that she doesn't really have very many good free-to-play weapons, except for the wind whatever one, which was an event, event exclusive weapon that I don't have, uh, which is fun. So I think our best bet is going to be Favonius Lance just for more particles, which is going to be kind of not super important, but we could run it, I guess. 
I don't know. We'll see how much attack we can get just from artifacts. And then we'll come back to the weapons because that's a small problem. However, with artifacts, we have actually been looking decent-ish. We have some okay pieces. Straight away, I know what we're going to need off-piece. We have no dendro here, so that's obviously going to need to be off-piece. Jesus, 35% crit damage. Okay, that's a pretty crit damage heavy piece. I have quite a bit of resin, so I have five condensed as well as more resin from today. So let me go run her domain or artifact domain and let's see what we can get first we get a pull are we gonna see anything we do not okay let's go see what we get hopefully we get a little bit lucky but yeah i'm not super 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 expecting that i say that every time i need to expect it and then i don't know maybe the game will like it more if i expect to get something good then it will give me something good okay five runs down didn't get a whole lot which is a little bit annoying i did get a sands that could potentially roll okay if it hits crit damage that's not great can we just hit that's even worse can we just hit crit rate it's not a very beautiful piece but um let's just get it to 16 crit rate again more death Oh, God. Annoyingly, though, what we did get is some really nice pieces for Chlorand. You got this piece, which is very, very nice. And it, it, it could be a really beautiful piece. What's she currently running? Crit damage with 3.9% crit rate. So already this is better. So screw it. I'm going to max it. Which is annoying that we have an upgrade for Chlorand. And we got nothing for Emily. Yeah, more death. That's perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of save this for the time being because we don't really have a whole lot. Actually, what I can do is I can use the 150 resin we currently have and then I will come back tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to say, and I can hopefully get Emily or, you know, get some five more runs in. I might need a pop of Fragile. I might do that anyway and just... Pray that we actually get something that works. So, uh, I guess we are leaving Emily until tomorrow at the very least because we have nothing. We get crit damage here. Oh, okay. We might have a circlet because attack percent, that rolled into HP, which is really bad. But crit damage, that... Mmm. Please stop. It... It didn't, it didn't stop. So, a uh, correction, we don't have a circlet. Okay, now before we finish up for the day, because I'm just going to wait till tomorrow and throw some fragile in and everything. This is the team I think I'm going to run Emily on. We have Chevrus doing some Noblesse buffing Emily with off-field DPS, Linny on-field DPS, and just Lynette, because why not? Actually, no. Remine would be better there. He's not great in terms of like off-field DPS kind of stuff, but he would technically be a little bit better. Her damages are not really existent. We get hits of... That was a 1k. That's actually surprisingly good. I'll... Whoa, actually, hold a minute. Hold a minute? 3k? Excuse me, what? Bro, she is not even remotely built. And this is a level 1 lamp, I think. Hold up, wait. I need... I want to test this now. I thought we are going to do like... 200 but i saw like a 3k in there which is way way more than i was expecting burst it looks sick 1k 4 4 4k excuse 8 8k excuse me what emily is insane she's missing half of her artifacts and the one she has on uh, well, one's level 20, but the other one is horrible. It's only level 12. How is she doing this much damage? She's at level 4 talents. Okay, well, I am most certainly building Emily, because, God, that was a lot of damage. Let's hope we get something good tomorrow, then. So, with that being said, on that very, very nice note, I'm going to see you tomorrow, and hopefully we get something actually good, and Emily can do 50k, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we are back for the last day. I got... I was doing my dailies and I decided to go around Monset. So I have 
12 of these so we can actually get that up to next level which i kind of started just collecting a couple of them when i was doing my dailies and uh, yeah i ended up just collecting all of them or all the ones i need so we can now do this and grab another 150 primos which means that we can do another pull on the weapon banner and we can get emily's weapon hmm I mean, technically, we could use it on Emily, but yeah, great. Now, let's go do the painful bit that no one's looking forward to. Artifact farming, and I am going to do use one of these because I know I only crafted four. So, this will get us up to five and probably six. Never mind, we are like two, two resin away. So, I might, I'll do these five runs and I could probably do craft up one more if we need it. Okay, so after a lot of runs, I ended up spending some fragile resin and doing like 10 runs or something so we did a lot more than i thought yeah we didn't get much basically nothing in the flowers for flowers we are we feathers we already have a pretty pretty good piece there we got another one here which has attack percent on it so if it rolls crit damage then it didn't okay not better if this one rolls crit damage though okay this could be a good piece yes crit rate now just all crit damage. Yes. More crit damage. That's crit rate. I mean, I'll take it. Crit damage. Energy recharge. Okay. Yeah, it's got attack on it, but it does not have anywhere near as much crit damage as this, so I'm going to leave her on that piece. These, again, didn't really get a whole lot. We, yeah, don't have anything really that good here. So, this is probably going to have to be our best piece. It is pretty garbage, but that's just what we're going to have to run with. Didn't get anything over here. No dendro damage. There's already basically a perfect piece. We need more consumables. See, if this just rolls like ER, um, it's a perfect piece. If we just hit crit damage now. Okay, this is, yeah, this is looking very, very nice. I need more things to level up though. And boom, more crit damage and attack percent. That, perfect. Just what we want. Now, let's have a look at circlets. Crit damage hp yeah it's not great but oh well that just leaves this piece which is pretty garbage and i doubt it's gonna roll any sort of decent stuff but let's see if we get crit rate we get hp okay well everything is at level 20 now she is running four piece of this set she's now sitting at 1500 attack 58 to 154 it's not the best but it could be worse i guess can't get a weapon up. No. Okay. So that just leaves our talents, which we need these for. We're just going to get everything up to six because I think we should be able to do it. Maybe. No, we're not going to be able to do it. We are a couple short. So I will just go and farm some of these so we can get everything up to six. Is that 18? Perfect. Exactly how many we need. Now, burst up to six and skill up to six. Now we need Alakino's drops, which there is no way I'm farming this because that's a very difficult weekly boss. But now we have Emily as built as we can possibly get. Her weapon is level 70, she is level 80, and her talents are all 6, and she has artifacts. They're not necessarily good artifacts, but they, they exist. So, 58, 154, 177. Since when did that go up? Now, let's go see what we're doing damage-wise. I'm expecting pretty solid damage, but we shall see. 5k. 1700. 5k. 23k. Yeah, I saw, I saw a 23k in there. Um, okay, well, that's more than I thought we were going to get. Let me run this back, and now let's try a burst. And Because if her skill was hitting 23k, her burst should be doing some pretty good damage doesn't quite make her the strongest but it makes her pretty close because nuvalet i think the highest i've seen nuvalet hit like on my own team without being in co-op with farina and whatever i think is about 30 so she's getting pretty close let's see burst 10ks 11ks i didn't really see too much else yeah, I mean, I think the most we saw in a burst was 11k. So, I don't know if we crit it or not. Whatever the case is, the highest I've seen her hit is a 23k. So, she could definitely use a little bit of work. We are lacking a little bit on consistent damage. So, 
get her crit damage up a little, or crit rate up and her crit damage, get her attack up, just sort of do a little bit of work to her artifacts because they do need a little bit of work. But for the time being, it's not the worst. She does indeed do pretty solid damage. I mean, 23k is that's not nothing. That is pretty decent. Obviously, that was like a one-off. I didn't. I only saw it once, but still. Her average was around that sort of 5 or so K, I'd say. Like 2 to 5K is sort of what she was sort of averaging around. Which, I mean, is pretty good. It's pretty average for this account. But for now, she definitely does pretty decent damage, and I'm pretty happy with it. So that being said, I think we're going to leave it off there. Emily's built. We don't, have, we don't need to farm for any more Fontaine characters, thankfully. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this sort of content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye. Extra. Bye.